Leaving Clock Jordan, I find myself inspired by the success of the community's efforts. They're demonstrating that it's possible to reduce emissions by tackling the key areas of home heating, food, transport and power. But what's stopping this from being the norm across the country? I asked my personal climate change mentor, Dr. Cara Augustenberg. What we need are big system changes. So we need to really look at our public transport systems, our food systems, and our energy systems. Well then, regarding that transport system, how can we make that more sustainable? Right now, we spend less than 1% of our transport budget on what they call sustainable transport. So cycling and walking and that kind of infrastructure. And what we need to do is start moving money away from roads and into things like public transport and cycling and walking, which we're not doing right now. We need to get planning right. So at the moment, you know, we're not building apartments that are family friendly in the city, that are easy to commute by public transportation in. We need to start looking at building up instead of out. So then, Cara, tell me, how do we make our power and our heating more sustainable? We need to get off of our dependency on fossil fuel imports. And we can do that really easily because we have all of this untapped energy out there in the form of wind and solar that we can harness here in Ireland. So we could power millions of homes just by putting an array of wind turbines offshore. Right now we focus on these big grid systems that are developer-led with no incentives or opportunities for local communities. So what we really need to do is focus on community ownership uh, and smaller scale distribution of energy systems and let communities decide what kind of energy do they want. And then is there much of an appetite in Ireland for this new community-based power system? There are communities all over Ireland that are really going for this and really want to lead the way and own their own power but 